Gang gun violence is plaguing the city, the Bronx in particular, where Commissioner Dermot Shea says it hasn't been this bad since 1996. Police sources say the NYPD is adding 100 officers to the streets to combat weekend violence. They will be brought in Friday through Monday. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer has more. A reported major gang war takes the life of a 13-year-old in the Bronx. Then three more become the victims of gun violence not far from the scene. One, a 66-year-old woman recovering from a stray bullet to the leg. The toll, four incidents, eight victims yesterday alone, has police commissioner Dermot Shea expressing frustration, pointing again to the defund the cops brigade that he says has hamstrung cops. We've had to push back on the city council asking us to get rid of it database about gangs. Um, we've been asked not to stop cars. Don't interview kids when they're arrested. And at a time when people should be coming to us and saying, what do you need? What can be done to help? We're still seeing some of the opposite. Shea has been singing some version of that song for over a year, lamenting changes intended to stop abusive policing. Enter Democratic mayoral candidate Eric Adams, who says you can have both public safety and a police force that is not abusing people. We need real leadership where I'm going to send a clear and loud message to my police officers. I have your backs, but you will have the backs of the people of this city that you swore to protect. Adams says he'll bring back the plainclothes unit that will take weapons off the street and also have a zero tolerance for abusive cops. You will be out of my department in a short period of time. Republican mayoral candidate Curtis Sliwa says the answer is more cops and hiring them now. If we wait until the inauguration, we won't see any new police, if at all, probably until late spring. Shame on you, Bill de Blasio. Shame on you, Eric Adams. President Biden has suggested the city use some of the billion dollars it received in federal COVID funds to hire more cops. Mayor de Blasio has refused. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.